Palatines are early settlers in the mid-Mohawk Valley. Allison will show some of the places associated with them. The first European settlers of the western and central areas of the Mohawk Valley were the Palatines. Um, these were refugees fleeing poverty and war, and they came from the area of, um, that we now know is southwest Germany. And they came to New York in 1709 to 1710. They arrived here in 1711 to 1712. This is the Palatine Church. It was built in 1770, and it is the site of the marriage between the two fictional characters, Lana and Gil, in Walter D. Edmonds' 1936 novel, Drums Along the Mohawk. they persuaded their connections among the British um, that when the to spare the yeah. tavern and the church so that when the Tories and Indians came through and burned the rest of the valley the church and the tavern were spared and they still stand to this day this is the Stone Arabia reformed church it was dedicated in 1788 and it was built by um, descendants of the original Palatine settlers who came to Stone Arabia. This is the Old Stone Fort. Up until the Revolutionary War, it, was, it served as the German Reformed Church for Schoharie. But during the Revolutionary War, it was uh, turned into a fort. It received additional fortifications. During Sir John Johnson's raid of 1780, when his troops burned Schoharie Valley to the ground, most of the people in Schoharie took refuge here. And they were successfully able to ward out, off the attacks of the British um, they were sieged in here. There's actually a cannonball that is still lodged in one of the rafter beams of the fort from that attack. Unfortunately, they were not able to prevent their homes and their farms from being burned to the ground. This is the Palatine Valley Dairy uh, cheese factory in the store. Fairly a little bit more modern. This is the village of Palatine Bridge. It's just across the Mohawk River from Canajahari. This is the historic Fort Herkimer Church. It was built in 1767 with con significant contributions from Johann Joost Herkimer, the father of General Herkimer. And during the Revolutionary War, this served as a place of refuge for the Palatines in the area. And you can still see the holes in the walls uh, for the guns of the defenders. This is part of, of a complex of buildings called Fort Herkimer, but all of the other buildings were destroyed during the building of the Barge Canal. The Mohawk Valley was a conflict zone until the end of the Revolution. After the war, people started coming into the valley from New England, diluting the Palatine character of the region. Remarkably, some of the Palatine structures are still standing. 